just getting back from a couple errands. I had classes this morning, some private lessons. Anyway, I've got a bunch of paperwork to do, stuff that does not make us any money. So I try to do it as quickly as possible or let somebody else do it. But we have some people out. Kellen's out today, so I'll be cleaning. I'll be going over the cleaning checklist. It's a great opportunity to take a look at what we need to improve on that. Connor's here updating the board. Picture day, when's picture day? It's Friday and Saturday. It's Friday and Saturday. He set this thing up himself. Oh yeah. Awesome. Did everything on it so he gets the most, huh. yeah, he gets paid the most for it. This guy's entrepreneurial, he's always making a buck. I know he's been working hard. Not many working that hard, but good job. So I'm gonna get to work. Got a bunch of quick paperwork to do. And then, let's throw this up here. There we go. I'm gonna start to clean. Got my checklists out. Going over cleaning checklist today. This is what has to happen every single day. This stuff has to happen. Some of these things um, probably we don't have to get done or I can move them down the list. I know there are other things that are not on here that I've noticed in the parking lot lately. Things that have changed because our neighbors have changed a little bit or what's happening has changed a little bit. So I'm gonna add some things here, probably some things that I can take off of this that are making us less efficient. And then we've been going all week all last week, this is a new week, so through the uh, front desk checklists, and then we have instructor checklists, all the different classes that we teach. System runs the school, the people that we hire run the system, so it's important to hire the right people with the right attitude, get the right attitude, train for the checklist, this is what has to happen. Aptitude's important, they have to have basic aptitude, and for instructors, obviously, they have to know what they're doing. And then this entire month, revisiting the employee handbooks and going through figuring out what needs to be updated and what we need to train on. I went to get a uniform last week. I signed somebody up. There was no uniform. Big fail, my part. Everything, finally, it's all, it's, it's all my fault. If it doesn't happen, it's because of me. Either I didn't uh, enforce the system or I didn't hold people accountable. I didn't make sure that people were using the right checklists. One of the first things on the checklist is stock. Everything has to be stocked. Every if we didn't have it in stock, that means it's somewhere along that system or somewhere along that checklist. Either we're not getting inventory done or I'm not making sure that, that somebody's doing the inventory. We're not ordering when the minimums come because someone thinks they have to ask me, which is what happened. And, and it's again, my fault. So it doesn't happen, it's because of me. So I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it right now. It says smile when you say hello. This is something I was thinking about lately. This has been on our, our checklist. I put that there because I hired the wrong person. I hired somebody who doesn't like to smile, doesn't like to greet people, doesn't like to talk on the phone, doesn't like to send emails back. So there's the checklist, there's the systems and the scripts, but then there's also the wrong person. I hired the wrong person and I tried to fix it by putting this lame sticker everywhere. Smile when you answer the phone, smile when you say hello, but I hired a person who doesn't like to do that. That's my fault, again. And then it took me too long to say goodbye. But don't try to fix the problem when the problem is the wrong person. Get rid of the person. Get rid of them as fast as possible. I know it's easy for me to say because I don't always do it. But I, like I said, I'm getting better at it. I think once you have kids, you start getting better at that. Because then you picture somebody's taking food out of the mouths of your baby and you want to slit their throat. Not literally, but it's easier to fire somebody after you have kids. We're going for 45 on white. Why don't we just go look it up in the computer? Let's go do that. Just walked in the stock room and all the uniforms he put in there are falling down, which means they're not put in right. But more importantly is that they weren't marked before they were put in. And he said, I said, doesn't everybody know the price of them? So do we have to mark them? <laughs> who, so who knows the, how much they cost? Well, I don't work at the front desk, so I don't know. <laughs> so the answer is, the answer is no. No one knows how much they cost. Okay. No one knows much, how much it costs. So if you're sitting at the front desk, which happened, yes, sir. how many times that happened? Every once in a while. And someone says, Connor, I'd like to buy a uniform. You say they are? I try to look it up in Rainmaker, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to take time. He's going to try to look it up in the uh, software system. He's probably not going to find it. So, so you're going to tell them what? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Come back and come back, try to find somebody who was here. When they're ready, and then when they come back, when they come back, they don't want it anymore. 
things have changed. They realize, oh, we don't need another one. Or maybe my kid's gonna go play baseball or whatever else, but you've lost a sale because they're what? Not marked. They're, they're not marked. Price. So it has to be on the checklist. It's on the checklist before you stick them in stock. Make sure they have a price on them because when someone pulls it out and they don't know how much they cost, they say, oh, they're, I don't know. And I don't know either. <laughs> I've got to go look it up. So we're going to look it up and we're going to go mark it since we're the only ones working so far today. Time to hit the bathrooms. Bathrooms, top of the list. These things stink. Your whole school stinks. Especially here because they're right at the front. We've got two downstairs, two upstairs. Size seven. Stone and steel cleaner makes these things shine. But when you get the white stuff, you have to use the CLR and you got to break it up with the CLR first. That is in the manual. The manual, someone says, oh, there's all this white stuff on here, which is the residue for the water, the hard water. How do I get it off? You have to write that down somewhere so that when you say to somebody, go look in the manual, you don't have to tell them. They go find their job, they open it up. Oh, I got the white stuff. I got to use the CLR and shine it with the 409. I don't believe in doing all this work myself. You have to push everything down to the lowest person that can get it done well and then create the right checklist and hold them accountable, that's your job. And then find new people to do higher and higher level jobs. Every job that needs to be done, you have to do yourself. This is, I believe this. You do it yourself or you get somebody who's really good at it and you have them write down every step. That's your checklist. Every step, if there's talking involved, all the scripts, what to say, exactly what to say, and that's it, nothing else. Only say what needs to be said. What equipment is needed, what's necessary to get your job done, you write that all down, and that's what you train with, and that's your accountability tool. When you sit down and you do an evaluation, and say, are you ready for a raise? Because they'll ask you, and some won't. And you say, are you ready for a raise or not? Is it the right time? What else can you do well? You have it written down, you see, this is the job, this is what you look at every day. And then, are you doing it? Because I'm following up and you are or you aren't. But the other part is, you've got to train them and then get out of the way. And then you have to let them figure it out and grow, give them lots of feedback. And if you don't do that, you don't grow. And they don't grow and everything falls apart. That's the hardest part. Let them get the accolades. Let the people, the parents come up to you and say, hey, these kids are amazing. They're so brilliant, they're so fantastic. You know you helped set up the system, but they really are brilliant, they really are fantastic, and they get better and better and better. And you both did that, but they're doing all the heavy lifting. Let them do it, let them grow, get out of the way.